North Carolina leaders arrive in Washington, D.C. to shine a light on access to quality health care in rural areas. Bellhaven's Mayor Adam O'Neill walked more than 273 miles over the past two weeks to bring attention to what he calls a problem that risks lives and all in the name of money. His protest in motion sparked by the closing of Vidant Pungo Hospital. When Mayor O'Neill arrived, our Josh Birch met him. He has more from the nation's capital. As Bellhaven Mayor Adam O'Neill walked up to the U.S. Capitol, hundreds of others joined him from Beaufort and Hyde counties to send a clear message that rural health care needs significant improvements. I hope that somebody will hear what's taking place and what Vidant Health has done in our community. Bellhaven Mayor Adam O'Neill wants lawmakers to know that if more hospitals close like Vidant Pungo, lives will be lost. I think sometimes the odds may be against us, but I have to feel that we have done all we possibly could to keep yeah, our yeah, hospital. Carol Montgomery was one of the more than 100 people who packed on buses from Bellhaven to travel to D.C. She says the elderly population in high and Beaufort counties are now put in a dangerous situation since they would have to travel over 30 miles for emergency health care. They're not going to make it to Greenville no. or to Washington. No way. North Carolina NAACP President Reverend William Barber says they're bringing the life or death issue into the light. They thought that this was going to be done in a quiet place where there was no media. The mayor has done something tremendous, and that is to draw national attention to a national crisis. Some in Bellhaven say the town is ready to take over the hospital. They just need to be given the chance. We're all primed and ready. If we can just get a little bit more support and assistance, we can reopen our hospital, and it can be viable, and it will be viable. Yeah. For Congressman G.K. Butterfield, ensuring health care is accessible for all in North Carolina is critical. These communities are suffering because they don't have the ability to provide adequate health care uh, to their population, not just poor people, uh, but all people within their, their counties. After the rally, I asked Mayor O'Neill what he was most looking forward to. Most importantly, I'm looking forward to seeing that hospital open up again one day. Then we'll have a celebration. And that's coming. O'Neill plans to meet with state representatives while in the nation's capital, as well as Health and Human Services Secretary Sylvia Burwell. One thing is for sure, the fight to save Vidan Pungo Hospital is far from over. Of course, you can rely on us here at 9 on your side to keep you up to date with the very latest information. In Washington, D.C., Josh Birch, 9 on your side.